Hello Saints and welcome to Video Watcher. My name is Messenger Paula. Um, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, uh, Happy Hanukkah. <laughs> I, hope you, oh, I don't do Kwanzaa, <laughs> but I would. Um, behind me, you see a Christmas tree. It's not, I didn't choose to have a Christmas tree. I, a Christmas tree was forced upon me, so. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't really do Christmas trees anymore, but, you know, it, it was nice to have family come and visit, so it's, it's customary. Um, so here, right before me, you see this video, the Jonathan Kleck channel. And the name of the video is, They Are Going to Kill All the Sheep in New York. Um, by the way, before I go on, my Aunt Heather is here visiting from Seattle. And um, she is a non-believer. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say an atheist? Would you go agnostic. that far? Agnostic. She's agnostic. So, um, since I am the opposite of an agnostic, as a, a messenger for Yeshua Hamashiach, this will be an interesting episode <laughs> to see how how someone who doesn't believe uh, reacts to what I'm about to say. Anyway, so they are going to kill all the sheep in New York. Um, let me just show you first what was in, what I what stood out about this video. First of all, I in I didn't mean to, but I paused it here at 44:23, and I explained in another video that 44 is Jesus. And I'll show you why. If you give me a pencil, see it is, it is, I mean it represents Jesus. And this is why. So Heather, can you see this? So I'm gonna draw across. This is a blank piece of paper. So Heather, do you see that? I do. That is a, a cross, right? So this is all I do, Heather. Right, the people won't be able to see. But I put one line there. And that is now a four. Do yes, you see that, Heather? I do see that. And then I put another line here. Do you see that, Heather? I do see that. And now you have what would be called a trident or a pitchfork, or in other words, two fours. You have a four going this way and a four going that way. And that is a 44. One is backwards, right? One is backwards. Um, and that is something that this is what you would call a mirror reflection. So if I took this piece of paper and I folded the paper in half like that, it is an exact reflection of the other side because that's what happens in the spiritual world. When you look at the mirror, it's reflected back to you. That's why in Illuminati um, symbolism, they always have the water underneath the monument. So if you look at the Washington Monument, if you look at the Eiffel Tower, if you look at any monument, there's always water as a reflecting pool. And the reflecting pool is, is uh, symbolic of the mirror because in the other side, the spiritual realm, everything is backwards. So that's why things are backwards and forwards in this world. And that's why Jesus is represented by 44. You have the cross. And then when you put the angles here, you have 4-4. Four, four. And also the number 4 is the number 4 because you have 4 angles. So here's the number 4. So here you have an angle, one, two. So because the four has four angles, and what does the cross have? The cross has one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So the cross is represented by the number four, and Jesus is represented by the number 44, because he was on the cross, right? Okay, Heather, so this is a picture from Rue de Matre, where I was having a, a coffee one day, and Rue de Matre means Martyr Street. And then in front of me where I was, it was the number, the address number 44, with the bus stop that says Nazarene, which means um, Jesus of Nazareth, so Nazarene means Nazareth. And this street is directly below the highest ground in Paris, the Sacre Coeur Church. So it is hidden knowledge. All right, so here on the video, you see the number 44 and 23, which is another very big, important number. It's my number, and I've been telling Heather about that number how, how often? All the time. All the time, every day since she's been here. So this was a coincidence, quote-unquote, which I don't believe in coincidence, that I happened to pause the video at 44-23. Anyway, let's, let's hear what Jonathan Clegg has to say about this. You ready, Heather? Okay. Play. 
Let's play. In very uncomfortable, dangerous ways. As we look onto a tradition that's been continuing for many, many thousands of years. Oh, look at that. Did you see what happened to the sheep? Uh, watch this. Many, many thousands. Oh, wow. Okay, so I'm sorry I'm having some technical difficulties with my equipment. Heather's laughing at me. Laughing with you, laughing She's with laughing you. laughing with me. <laughs> okay, so Heather, can you see on that screen? I'm going to make it bigger. Do you see that 16, Heather? Uh, I, yes, I see a 6. Where's it? Oh, okay. I see okay, I'm going to let Jonathan play. Uh, he, I think he explains it again. Let's watch. Yeah. Did you see what happened to the sheep? Uh, watch this. He plays it again. Okay. 16. Heather, how many, how, how much did I talk about the number 16 while you were here? You've talked about it a, a, a minute, a bit. Can, let's see, can, do you mind if I put you on the screen? Let's see, there she is. There's, there's Heather. I've talked about 16 a lot. Yeah. So what I've been saying, and I'll put on the screen right here so you guys can see, that I was getting, um, I, I, I told you the story about the Bible verse that just appeared on my iPad. It was a glitch. It's impossible for it to happen. It just showed up, Romans 116. And you guys can look at the other video for that explanation. And so then I had other confirmation. And um, I had the text message that said the last 16. I showed you that picture where it said the last mm -hmm. 16. Um, I was saying 116 means messenger, 16 means message, and this is the last message. This is the last Christmas, and I'm, I'm going to show you guys that next. But here on Jonathan Kleck's video... He's talking about an art exposition that's happening in New York right now until the 31st. And you would have to go back and look at the video. And I would urge everybody to go back and look at Jonathan Clegg's video to understand what he's saying. But the fact that they're putting 16 on these sheep is not a coincidence. It is, in fact, a confirmation that this is a message, okay, that this is the last message. This is a message that is of the utmost importance, the most important message that you can understand. Okay? Okay. All right. Let's keep, let's go forward. And again, if we look at the time, what do we have? It's still 44. I guess the whole video was 40. I don't know. It's still 44. That's strange. Oh, wow. That's not significant, is it? It's of years. I hope that in the midst of the traffic, the, the crowds that the passing 16 through out of all Times the Square, the individuals could. find comfort, find peace in the community around the them, that they can look up at the herds of sheep and feel one with them, feel the security of being among their neighbors, and rethink our... So, see how they faded the sheep onto the herds of sheep onto the herds of people there you go position in our moment in time so i think of counting sheep as a guide towards meditation towards peace okay this part here it is the Watch. largest Wait. coordinated effort okay do you guys see 237 right there if I, if I pause it, then you won't see it. So I'm going to unpause it. I want you to notice the time that Jonathan Kleck pauses the video and what it says. Okay? Heather, you with me? Yep. Okay. I'm going to unpause it. Cutting edge, creating content. Two, three, at the same time seven. every day. Okay, Heather, how significant is 237? <laughs> how much have I been talking For about 237? For you, it's, it's, it's pretty significant. Because it's my birthday, I was born on July 23rd, and I live in Europe, so that be, that's 237, and it's a sign to me that I'm on the right path, right? 
So, for example, this morning, yesterday morning, me and Heather went to Versailles, by the way. Ooh, that's the next part of this video. I'm about to blow Heather's mind. But anyway, <laughs> um, I was thinking about, because I do numbers, and so I was thinking about whether I should put my notebook in my purse. And at the bottom of my purse was this. It's a receipt, and it's two, three, 23 euros and 70 cents. And it was at the bottom of my purse. And when I saw that, I was like, oh, well, I guess I should take my notebook, right? And then I just showed it to her as an example of how it works. Like, it's everywhere all the time. I don't want it to be a long video, so I won't go back and show all the proof of it. But I have it in other videos. If you guys are interested, go back and I can show you proof of how I see 237 or 723 all the freaking time everywhere. So um, right here on his video what he's pointing out. Let's read what he's pointing out because that's significant as well. So let's see what it says. It is the largest coordinated effort by the sign operator to touch to display a synchronized cutting edge created content at the same time every day. Same time. Same time. Same time every day. Whoa! Time. Time. What what am I pointing out? The time. Two, three, seven. Every day? All right. I'm about to take this to a whole new level. Okay. So welcome back to, to the next part of this. Uh, I'm still with Aunt Heather, uh, the agnostic. I'm Messenger Paula, disciple to Jesus Christ. <laughs> welcome to Video Watcher again. Um, so no, the next part of this that trips me out anyway, I don't know what Heather's going to think about it. Heather will tell us. So I've talked about the number 16. I even got a playlist called 16 and 116. I'll link it here. On this video that Jonathan Kleck is talking about, the sheep was branded with the number, what number was that, Heather? 16. The, num the no. sheep was branded with the number 16. You are right, my, my, <laughs> my friend. So this is something I noticed since Heather's been here. And I will um, just go ahead and put this into the... December 16th, 2015, and it has the time. And it says the designer is to write everything into destruction every day. Okay, so I that is something that I've talked about often in my videos. I just never noticed that it happened on, what day did that happen on, Heather? The 16th. December, December. what is the key number here? 16. 16. What do I say in the text? I say that I'm supposed to write it into destruction what is the key word after that? It says every day. Every day. What does this thing says right here? It says same time, 237, every day. 16, every day. Every day. Okay, so if that's a coincidence for you, then how about this? This year... I had a, uh, when I was sleeping, I had the Holy Spirit uh, give me a message and then I, I wrote it down. What, the, what date does that say? December 16th, 2016. December 16th. And what does it say? We are the holy place. What is a sheep called? The sheep, the sheep. is, Jesus calls his followers sheep. Yes. We are his sheep. We are the holy thing. Okay? Fire will burn through us. What happens when you brand a sheep? You burn it. It burns. Skin. It burns the skin. What number did he put on the sheep? 16. When did I type this on my phone? December 16. All right. But we will not be harmed because he will dress us like Daniel 3. Jesus will be standing with us in the fire, in the middle of the flames. So, Heather, do you think all of that is a coincidence? I mean, be honest. I'm sure there's people out there that will agree with you. <laughs> um, I think it takes a lot of effort to find that. You think it the takes a lot of effort yeah. to find that correlation? Huh? I can see. I can see how you can think that um 
All right, well, let's, let's go to the next part. I do want to say, though, before I go on, that Jonathan Kleck is a modern-day prophet for our generation. And I kind of dreamed about it last night. It was something I've been wanting to say because I've just started my ministry November 11, uh, November 13th, and he's been doing this since 2008. So I do understand it's late to come out and witness and, and profess this, but I, I honestly believe that this man is... Um, a modern day prophet and you're not ready for this maybe some of you guys are ready for this I would highly suggest that you look at his work and once you look at his work and some of my past work as well and lots of other people um, you're gonna see that it's impossible for it to be a coincidence he breaks this down not only does he break it down it's 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 harder it's easier what is the word I want to say it's harder to deny it than accept it. So the same amount of energy that you're saying, I'm putting, I'm forcing these pieces together is the same amount of energy it would take for you to deny what he's saying if you really take the time to look at it. So there you go. And you know, this is a short, quick, easy video, so I'm not gonna ram it down anybody's throat either. But if you go back and you look at the the numbers, the work that I've done with the numbers, and you look at the prophetic confirmations that I've received from other people that I don't know, their dreams and so forth, um, it's not a coincidence. And I, d I don't see how, I don't see how it could be. I really don't. He we watched a movie, because Heather didn't know anything about this. We grew up together, but we, you know, we haven't, mm -hmm. I live in Paris, she lives in Seattle. Um, we were watching a movie and the movie was talking exactly about what we were talking about that day. And there was one scene in the movie when the guy left. And what was the number on the door, Heather? 2307. 2307. <laughs> so we were saying that number could have been 1111, 1102, 11103, 11104. <laughs> it could have been anything. So what are the odds that it was 2307? How many times do we see 23, 7 in one day that I pointed that I pointed out to you? I don't know. A lot. More than at least three or more? I would say at least, yeah, at least three mm -hmm. or more. Coincidence? Is it possible that it's a coincidence? I mean, it's possible. I feel like it's possible. I Is mean, if, a, especially, I mean, if you're looking for it, then yeah. I'm looking for, I'm able to make the exact amount of this money come out to be $23.70, uh, and, and I never noticed it. I'm, I'm able to do that? No, I'm not saying that you're, I'm not saying that you're willingly making those things happen, but I don't necessarily think that you're not looking for those things either. Like, so you how, can, I can walk down the street and find, 20, you know, 237 if I'm looking for it. So how do you explain the fact that he put 16 on the sheet? I, I can't explain that. I, don't, I can't explain And that. I have a whole playlist of 16, so I didn't look for that. But I, I mean, I can't explain what somebody else puts in their video. I, I, but well, the, what I'm saying is it has significance and okay. you don't see the significance. You don't know the significance, but I'm pointing out the significance to you. Okay. Um, okay. What, what's the other um, thing? The one point, because I, I agree with you, Heather. I know it looks that way. When you're not living in my shoes, it does look that way. When yeah. it happens to you, when you experience that, then it's different. Right. So I get that. And then you're my aunt, so you're giving me the benefit of the doubt. These people don't know me from <laughs> Apple, nothing. They right. don't know me at all, so I understand that. Um, but the one thing that no one can say I was looking for is the one Romans one sixteen. Yeah. Can't even say that I, I did because it's impossible. It was, it, was impo it was a glitch. It's right. a glitch in an app. And I like I said, I have the whole playlist of 116. I was looking at for 116. I was seeing 116 everywhere. I put the iPad down. I went to the other room. I came back and it was written Romans 116 on my iPad. One, Romans 116 does not exist. And then when you go through and you read, it's actually Psalms 116, but there was a glitch in the thing. I took a screenshot. And when you go through and read the text, it's confirming every, every warning that I'm giving or I've been given from the Holy Spirit and God that Jonathan Clegg is saying that all these other messengers, watchmen, prophets, and all these people were saying the same thing. So, hmm. Anyway, 
let's move on to the next uh, thing. Okay, so actually uh, what we're going to do is we'll stop here for today's video um, because the next part that I want to do is really talk more about Jonathan Kleck. Um, Heather and I, we went to Versailles, as I mentioned earlier, and I took pictures of the chapel, the ceiling, and um, it's exactly the same thing that Jonathan Kleck is talking about in his videos where I could see the dragon in the picture. Um, Heather don't know about that. I, we didn't talk about that. Um, and also there's um, a TV show called um, The OA. And then on one of the episode, episodes, it's called The Invisible Spirit or something. I don't, I don't know, but the first picture of it is a wolf and a sheep. And we talked a little bit about wolf and sheep's clothing. Mm -hmm. And uh, Jonathan Kleck talks a lot about that. So I've gotten some confirmation about um, some things that Jonathan Kleck teaches. And I'll put that in another video because this would go too long. But thank you, Heather, for being a guest on my YouTube <laughs> ministry TV show. Thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, to, to close, what do, what do you think? Has it at least opened your mind to possibilities or curiosity? or, or Curiosity, yeah. I mean... I'm not going to shoot down anything, but yeah, it's interesting. Do you think you would take the time when you go home to maybe look at a Jonathan Kleck video or continue to look at my videos or to, I mean, I don't I, know anything. Yeah, or, maybe. Any kind of research? I, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I might. What, what she was telling me is that, you know, you have the matrix, you have the red, blue, and the, and the red, blue, the red pill <laughs> and the blue pill. And um, in the movie, they say take the red pill and uh, you go down the rabbit hole and you take the blue pill and you go, you end up in your bed. I, in my humble opinion, they're switching it up. So the good pill is the blue pill and the bad pill is the red pill. Either way, once you take the pill, you can't go back. You can't put the genie back in the bottle. And Heather doesn't really want to be snatched out of the matrix. <laughs> she, <laughs> she kind of likes, you know, the way it is and she, <laughs> and she does not envy my life at not all a, not in the slightest it is very true. difficult uh spiritual battle and mm -hmm. um but i was telling her that the time clock is running down so if you believe or you don't believe you got little time to figure it out because something is coming it's big so okay. god bless everyone i hope you had a happy holidays we had a happy holidays okay. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. So, God bless you. Have a uh, happy new year. Happy new year. Happy new year. Mwah. Shalom. <laughs> <laughs>